heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. How much uh, of this is it for you, motivation or a slight intrigue, uh, the fact that you could take a guy who people feel has little to no power and turn it around? Because you, you've done a marvelous job with Kovalev, but you know, you're going to get your naysayers to say, well, he has power. He would have did that anyway. Now you got a guy like Chris Algieri where it's, uh, you can really you know, fine tune him and show the skills that you have as a world-class trainer. You know, I welcome the challenge. I, you know, I I've thought about everything that you said. Yeah, you know, it, it's good for me. It'd be a feather in my cap to show that I can really teach. Teach a guy who knows how to box, how to become a better fighter than he is already. Take his skills and take it to the next level for him. And that, that's, that's my job. You know, he came to me and he said, John, I want to learn. And, and so it's my job to teach him. And the one thing I always tell people nowadays, there aren't really that many teachers in boxing. You got to get a guy to know something, but they're not really teaching. And, and so for this fight here, I think he allowed me to show him the things that I, that I believe that, that will work for him and make him win this fight handily. And, it, and he's done. He, in the last two weeks of camp, it all started to come together for him. And he believed in it and he started doing it. So if he can take that same teaching and transform it that night into that fight, then I, I'm, I know we're going to have a victory. I'm very confident of victory. And I know he can do it either by knockout or by decision. I know we'll be victorious. For Kovalev Bihop, your game plan seems simple. He's an older guy. Beat on him. Is it that simple for Amir and Chris Algieri? Chris, uh, uh, Amir's younger. He's, uh, he's more flighty. Um, does he have Bernard's boxing IQ? No. But he's, he's, he's young and, and, and he, you know, Chris, um, Amir to me reminds me of a, of a great amateur fighter. Because if you watch him, he still does a lot of that stuff they did in amateurs. He, he's very, he rushes everything. He, he doesn't really send his punches. He pulls with his head, he pulls out with his head uh, up in the air. He rushes in on shots and, and his feet are, are, are just not planted at all. So he's a very good fighter at the things that he does, but not, he's not technically great at one thing. He, in his mind, he thinks he is, but he's not technically great at one thing that he does. And then the thing that I liked the other night, I was watching him and Virgil, I watched a little bit of their footage. Everything Virgil showed him, Virgil was doing wrong. His, his, his feet were planted wrong. His balance was off. His, the, the, the way he jabbed, and the way he, he did it wrong. I said, good. That's what, see, that let me know right there that I got the upper hand as far as teaching and what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing because he, he did it all wrong, and I like that because that, that, that kind of reaffirmed what I thought. You're going in and, and showing you things, but he's not teaching you correctly how to do them. If you watch, if you watch him here fight, he still fights a lot of the same way he's always fighting. Now he said at one time he said Freddie, Freddie was the greatest trainer of all time, but when he left him, the very next day he said Freddie didn't show him anything. Now which is it? Was he great? Or did he not show you anything? Or were you just kept sucking up to him back then? Now you got Virgil, and he said Virgil showing you certain things, but I don't see those things really being coming out. I see you doing a couple of things, but they're not they're not things that that, that are. That are conducive to making you a great, become a great fighter. Well, I'm glad you said it and not me because, uh, I mean, ever since the change, he still got hit with the left hook by Molina, by Julio Diaz. You know, he couldn't get hit with a left hook by Alexander because he's a southpaw, but, I mean, I, I still see the same mistakes. And, and speaking of the left hook, that is the kryptonite for Khan. Uh, is there any way, I'm not a trainer, so I'm asking, is there any way that you can work on that punch to, so it could be more effective on fight night for Chris Algieri? We, we've worked on that punch because, you know, Chris throws it, but he didn't throw it with any conviction. You know, he didn't put that shoulder and that hip behind it. I said, man, listen, I said, you're in the hurt business, and that's your job to hurt. I said, that's what we do. If this is, if this is not what you signed up for, then you need to get out now. I said, you throw that hook, throw it, or are you trying to, trying to knock his head off? I said, listen, you get paid for it. You're not going to jail, knock his head off. And he understood that, so we worked on that. You know, it's, it's just so many things that, that so many shortcomings that, that Amir does in this fight. I think we're going we're to expose all of that. And I think Chris is going to shock people with the way he fights and what he does in this particular fight here. Well, if one thing PBC has shown us is that uh, the house fighter isn't getting the decision. You know, guys are losing, matchups are even. So we wish you the best of luck uh, here at the Boxing Voice. We thank you for your time, for interviewing you. And uh, if you have any social media you want to give out for so fans could follow you or, you know, follow your career, you're not your career, but your uh, training career and maybe your gym, you never know. No, listen, I appreciate, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have much of a, of a media base to follow me. And I just, I just do my thing, man. I, I, I thank you for giving me the time to yeah. express myself and give you my opinions on this fight. and. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. Thank you, bro.